Hello friends. Today we are going to see how to check if a tree is a subtree of another tree. So let's see an example. So this is a tree. This is the main tree, and we are going to check whether this tree, this tree one, is a subtree of this main tree. So let's see. So this tree is C F G J K L M. So here is A. Then on the left side of A, check whether there is any node whose name is C. No, there is no node. Uh, now check on the right side of A. So on the right side of A, yes, there is C. Then check whether the subtree which is rooted at C. This is the subtree is identical to this tree or not and if it is identical then we can say that this tree 1 is a subtree of this original tree of this main tree similarly for this tree i will name it as tree 2 so d h i check where the, where is d yes d is here then the tree rooted at d the subtree here which is rooted at d d h i is identical to this tree and so this tree 2 is a subtree of this main tree so this is how we check if a tree is subtree of another tree now let's see the program <coughs> so this is the program the name of the function is subtree and the parameters are m and s so m is the pointer pointing to the root of the main tree and s is the pointer pointing to the root of the subtree or a tree for whom we want to check whether it is a subtree or not so s points to that subtree now suppose if s is null means obviously a null tree is always a subtree of any tree <coughs> yes a null tree is a subtree of any tree so if s equal to equal to null means if the tree we want to check is null then we return 1 saying that yes it is a subtree then the next condition is if m equal to equal to null means if the main tree is null but the subtree is not null and in that case obviously we will return 0 because our if our main tree is null how can these trees be a subtree <coughs> understand that the subtree is not null because we have reached here if the subtree was null we we would have returned from here we would have never gone further so as we are in this condition this means that the subtree is not null means the subtree is present but the main tree is null so in this case we will return zero we will return false next go to the next condition now so if both are present now the third condition if identical m comma s in my previous video i have explained the whole identical function how to check if two trees are identical or not i have explained in my previous video if you have not watched that video then please have a look at that video so now if identical m comma s if the tree means if this tree a b c so currently m is pointing to a if this tree is identical to this tree means the tree rooted at c then we will return 1 because they are identical so every tree is a subtree of itself 
means if both trees are identical obviously they are sub trees also so <coughs> now we will go further yes now so if all these are not satisfied we will go to this condition let's check we will return this conditions answer it will return either 0 or 1 okay so the first is sub tree m points left so if a is not matching to c then check whether in this main tree is there any node which is matching to c so first go to the left side for checking so we went to the left subtree to check and we passed the checking node that is c the pointer to c and if we don't find it in left subtree then we go in right subtree to find it obviously in this case when we go to the right subtree we find it this is a recursive function when we go in the left subtree of A again we go in the left subtree of B then again we go in the left subtree of D in this way the whole left subtree of A is searched and then we go to the right subtree of A and then right subtree is searched when we come to the right subtree of A then in this code C here the function identical m comma s is satisfied because the tree rooted at c and this tree are matching so this function is satisfied and we return one this is the breaking condition and in this breaking condition because we have found out the subtree we are returning one and when we return one the function returns and we come in the main function and there we print that yes this is a subtree of the main tree so this is how we check if a tree is a subtree of another tree hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you